<laughs> and there we go just as i expected what the heck happened here god dude this thing needs like 5w20 oh yo i got a fish oh my god i got a fish What is going on everyone? Thank you guys again for tuning in. Welcome back to the episode of Jonah TV. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen on your social media outlets, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you guys use, there's a little ad that pops up called Wish. If you don't know what Wish is, it is a, uh, an app you can get on your phone and you click on it, you can get virtually anything on this website. I'm not even gonna detail if you guys have seen it and browse through the little thing on Facebook you know exactly what I'm talking about the weird stuff you can actually get from it so I clicked on it whatever uh, I went on there but uh, I went in a little search bar and I just typed in fishing went in there and looked you know you can buy things from fishing rods lures uh, uh, bait casters spin reels uh, casting nets you can uh, anything you think of you can buy it on a fishing line whatever so I went on there and I looked through a couple things. I decided, you know what, let's see what this is all about. I have seen a couple YouTubers do something similar to this, going on Wish, buying uh, products and testing them out in the water. And I thought it'd be pretty cool, so I decided to try it. Well, the other day, everybody, we received our package. It only took two months. Yeah, so it is uh, the end of January right now and it was ordered probably uh, into November, maybe early December, I can't remember. Finally got here. So what we're gonna do today, guys, we're going to, I guess, uh, unbox it? It's not even a box, it, it came in a, it came in like a, one of those soft plastic um, envelope style things, but uh, yeah. So we're gonna get this open. We're gonna take a look at it, uh, hopefully. I mean, from what I can tell, we got some line, we got a reel, looks like we got our lure came with it, and we got our rod, which I don't actually know what this, uh, actually I'm kind of confused on why the rod is so short to fit in this. Hopefully the rod's in there. Let's get, let's break it down, let's get into it, we'll put it together, and we'll go test it on the water and see if it holds up. Um, I believe I paid $47 maybe, $50, roughly 50 bucks uh, for it to get here, so, um, Let's get into it. All right, let's uh, break this down and see what we got in here. Um, hopefully you guys can see me. I had to kind of adjust the camera to maybe kind of get all this. So um, let's, uh, oh, it's got tape on it. Let's try to cut that off. Jesus. Woo. Almost cut myself. What the heck? There we go. All right, well that's kind of interesting. Whew. All right. Well, all right guys, so here's what we've got. Um, let's put the knife away so no one gets hurt. All right, so. All right, so we got our, uh, we got our reel. Um, I don't know what. Oh, here you go. It is a, I actually cannot pronounce this. I'm going to, I'm going to try. I'm going to freaking butcher it most likely. Su, Sugailing, Sugailing, Sugailing. Oh, here, it's a, it's on this. You guys read that? I don't, I don't, I do not know how to pronounce that at all. Um, so yeah, this is the real, uh, we got it in black. If you guys can see that. Um, very light, actually. Uh, the handles, not not too bad, actually. I actually kind of like that. Kind of reminds me of my SLX. Um, but it feels like a twenty dollar reel, honestly. Um, but I mean, it's really not. I don't know. It might. It feels cheap, but. You know, if it gets the job done, it gets the job done. That's what we're really kind of looking for. Now, I am going to take these out on the water 
today, and I'm going to do my best to try to uh, destroy uh, these items and see, you know, are they are they worth the money? Is the money worth the wait? Again, I waited two months for these things, so, um, but, yep, so there's the reel. Not too bad. It is, uh, it's about what I guess you could expect uh, to buy off of uh, a website like that. Um, of course, we got a little, uh, I think that I ordered, yeah, it's a, it's a chatterbait. I ordered a little chatterbait. Let's uh, break this little thing open. You guys can see that little chatterbait there. Um, it's actually got like swivel, um, little wide gap hook on it. So this actually doesn't, uh, this doesn't really look too bad. I'm actually a little impressed with this. I think this actually was, a, I think this was a, a dollar. I believe it was a dollar. Maybe a dollar and some change, but it, was, it wasn't expensive at all. So yeah, there's our lure. Uh, set that to the side. And of course, we had to get some fishing line to uh, to do this. So we bought everything from um, from Wish, and I guess it came from China or whatever. This is called, I'm assuming, Super Fishing Line. Um, it's got, it's already been ripped, I guess. But it is apparently 100% fluorocarbon, which is good. 2.5, whatever that is. It doesn't really look like it is uh, very thin, very thin. So it, was, mm, it looks like it's very thin line. I would say maybe 10 pound test at the best. Uh, we'll see. And of course, this looks like it may be the rod. So, um, so I guess this is our rod. What the heck is this? This, um, okay, so it's sent me a spear, I'm guessing. I don't know what the heck this is. So, oh, okay, hold on. What the heck? I think this is a telescopic rod, it looks like, which I don't believe that's what I ordered, but who knows. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Well, okay, guys, so this is, um, the Sui Suge Lang. Uh, again, I'm most likely 100% butchering that name, um, but it is the right color we ordered. It is just I didn't know it was telescopic, but if you guys can see that. Um, well, this is all sorts of whatever. Um, so doesn't feel too bad. Let's see if we can open it up and hopefully not have any issues with it. It's just gonna be interesting oh should I do like one of the that didn't work I know you guys can't see that that, that did not work at all so all right guys so we got the rod uh, extended out looks like it's where it needs to be I'm gonna get the reel put on I'm gonna get the fishing line spooled on the reel and I will see you guys out on the water all right get out here on the water uh, I brought two rods with me just because one don't know how well this is going to hold up and because this line is very thin on this it uh if it breaks off uh i don't want to keep breaking off so i actually want to at least catch some fish today so but we're out here we made it uh to the water we're going to be throwing the uh wish app chatterbait with uh a six cents stroker crawl Hopefully we can get something out of this. Hopefully it casts decent. Hopefully it's not gonna bird nest or be trashed. You guys are about to see the first cast and something just left off the uh, off the bank there. <sighs> Let's try this out. All right, y'all. Here we go. First cast on the uh, Wish app. Uh, First cast in the Wish app, set up, <laughs> and there we go, just as I expected. So terrible, so terrible. I might need to change the braking system up a little bit on here. And what the heck? There you go, a little bit better cast. Oh, this is going about as well as I expected. Switched up to a six inch quake. 
<sighs> Hopefully uh, get some sort of bite on this. Not too sure, but something's coming up off the beds over there. Got one. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see if this holds up. Oh. Come here. He's barely hooked, too. Nice. That's one of the bigger ones, too. Whew. Look at that. We got our <laughs> bass, first bass on the rod, and this line held up, uh, held up actually pretty good. All right, guys. Well, held up. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Jeez. What the heck happened here? Got one. Hook set was good. Come on, don't break. Come on, here we go. All right, y'all. Fish number two. There he goes. Off to his home. This thing sounds like it needs some freaking conventional oil, man. This thing is terrible. Yeah, oh, here we go. Number three. Well, we've caught three fish so far um, on this wish app setup. Uh, the good thing is the rod is intact, hasn't broke. The line surprisingly has not snapped. I don't even have any frays in the line at all, which is good. Of course, the only thing that we hate here is the uh, is the reel. I mean, this thing is just freaking terrible. Sounds like crap. Cast pretty decent, but I'm surprised it's held up as long as it has. So. Um, 
typically you've been catching the fish just right around in this area here um of course you know in the winter time once you find a spot where the fish are um you want to typically keep casting in that same area they're all going to be congregating in that same spot so we're going to see if we can catch another one i think after this we might call it a day Well, we got fish number four. Fish number four. goes forever god dude this thing needs like 5w20 put it on this thing this is terrible i don't know if any of you guys that follow me uh like the fish on the shore um but this thing feels like i've dropped this reel in the ocean and it's got nothing but sand in it this thing is just this is terrible. I don't even know if it's worth the 20 bucks I paid for it. it doesn't feel like it. I mean, other than that it casts long, but Jesus. Oh wow, freaking broke my line, Jesus Christ. Well, hey, that's gonna do it y'all, I'm done. I'm gonna pull my, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pull my uh, lure in and uh, I'm about done. Oh, yo, I got a fish. Oh my God, I got a fish. Yo. I got a freaking fish. Oh my God. Are you serious right now? How in the hell? Y'all, I can't make this up. I literally pulled in a fish by hand. Okay, well, there's that. Uh, all right. Oh, I mean, I still got the line like attached to my hand. You see this? I caught a freaking fish pulling this in. You guys, I'm I'm done. I'm out of here. Let him go, and we'll we'll roll on out. There he goes. Wow, I can't even uh, I can't even make that up. 
I cannot even make that up. I'm done. All right, guys, we're back at the house now. Um, I I had to end it. There was no way I could keep going. Uh, this this reel was just just horrendous. Um, you know, this thing was. I know you guys heard it. It sounded like it needed some freaking motor oil in it. Um, it casted uh, a good distance, but literally every other cast almost was uh, a bird's nest or it made loud noise or you know I couldn't reel it in. it was it was terrible um, however uh, the rod itself held up the line held up up until the very last point where you guys saw when it broke um, and I was not expecting to get that fish in by hand at all I was when I was wrapping around because I don't want to lose my lure you know those you know those are like nine dollar lures so uh, as I was reeling in, I, I felt a small tug, so I, you should be able to see me, like, kind of set the hook. You know, I thought I had something, and then when I felt it tugging more, I had that fish. So, if you guys made it this far, uh, go and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little notification bell next to be notified when I upload any other new videos. And if you liked it, go and smash that like button also, guys. I would really appreciate it. But overall, um, the rod I probably give about a... 7 out of 10 it held up it did pretty good um, it didn't collapse on me at all um, at one point in the beginning I know the the guides were kind of turning on me but uh, once I got that fixed I had no issues the line I don't know what pound test it is but when you're winter fishing you're gonna get lethargic fish you're gonna get fish and aren't gonna put up much of a fight so it did what it needed to do all the way up until the last point where it broke um, we didn't catch anything on the lure. They weren't really chasing after anything like that. Um, and then lastly, the reel. I give this thing a freaking like negative 10 out of 10. This thing, listen to this. That is terrible. This, this thing sounds like it needs, it needs a lot. It needs a lot of work. But, but guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to leave a link to my Instagram in the description. I'm also going to pop it up somewhere here go follow my instagram at a thousand followers i'm gonna do a giveaway i'm gonna give away some uh tungsten products uh from woo they're great products i've been using them for a while and i was lucky enough to uh join their pro staff so i'm excited to share all those products with you guys as well so again go follow my instagram at a thousand followers i'm gonna do a giveaway i'm gonna give away some uh some woo tungsten products so guys till next time we'll catch you later